Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, just recently I was talking to a person who had given an interview for a cloud security position and the interview went very well. He was able to show that he had the knowledge and the, and the, like, the skills that are needed, but unfortunately he did not get the job and ultimately it came down to experience. He did not have actual real world experience for this position. And so unfortunately he did not get this job, which was of course, you know, uh, very disheartening. Uh, for that person and if you watch my videos you know i always say stop chasing certifications try to get hands-on skills hands-on like uh, as much hands-on experience as you can on your profile which is very very important you know especially in today's like very aggressive ai driven market now if you do not have experience so let's assume that you are starting out in cloud security or maybe you have experience but not in cloud security you've transitioned from some other position right and you need to get that experience on your profile now you have two options here right you can either wait around for somebody to take a chance on you and you know you can keep applying and waiting for somebody to give you that shot or you can take action. Uh, you can take action to get that experience yourself. So this is the focus of today's video. I will show you certain skills which I have told people myself, how to get experience on your profile, how to get that actual testimonials on your profile. So, uh, and th this will of course help you in future interviews. This will help you get an advantage over other people who may be applying for that same position. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Tamaruj Lal. I am a senior security consultant with AWS. And I made this channel to give advice on cloud security, AI, and general cyber security career advice. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, how to get cloud security experience without a job. So you don't have a job, but you need to get that, you know, testimonials on your profile. So this is what I'm talking about in this video. And just to be very clear, I, I, I focused on cloud security because that is my area. You know, this is where I focus on the most. But honestly, you can use these tips to apply to any like uh, position within cybersecurity. If you want to like focus on penetration testing or AI security, some of those uh, the, the things which I'm going to be talking about, they will be applicable here also. So what am I talking about now? When we say that, you know, how to get experience without a job, this it reminds me of this, If you must have seen this meme, right? That interviewers say that we can't hire you without experience, but of course, how are you gonna get that experience if you don't have a job, right? So it's this like, uh, like frustration that has always existed. I need experience to get a job, but I can't get a job because I don't have experience. And this is unfortunately a big problem which has always existed. It existed 20 years back when I was starting my career and it exists today also. But the good thing about today is it is much, much more easier to get that experience because of how popular cloud computing is and how easy it is to access and, the, you know, the how like how much learning material there is. So the first step, if you are starting out in cloud security, you need to create a sandbox. Please, uh, you need to before everything, if you have this wonderful, you can skip this step. But the step one is get a, a like a cloud lab a cloud environment where you can practice your skills it is extremely important because you will need to get actual hands-on skills which you will need in the future steps right if you do not have this this is going to be a big problem the good news is there are many many free tier accounts aws has one you know google has one i mean you can just google aws free tier account they many they give you many services which are completely free for one year that is more than enough right uh, similarly with azure Azure also gives you like services. Google also gives you services. Whichever cloud, this is not specific to AWS. You can use any cloud you want, but please get an actual cloud sandbox where you can start practicing and honing your skills. And also very, very important, please monitor your usage. Make sure to check how much costs are there. Sometimes people make a mistake. They accidentally use services which are not free and then they get hit with the bill they do, and then they start complaining that oh, i'm getting charged for this i thought there was no charges please the the cloud providers usually they give you the ability to set budget alerts so even if you get one dollar you'll immediately get an alert so please do set this and get a cloud sandbox up and running asap if you do not have this okay now that you have this the step two very important is learn a skill that people will pay for now I want you to remember something when you are applying for a job. People do not hire you for your certifications. Okay. They do not hire you for what your existing job title is. They hire you because you can solve a problem for them. This is sometimes the most important thing which I feel people forget, right? Nobody is going to look at your certification and say, I'm going to hire this person because he has that certification. No, they are hiring you because you can solve a specific 
problem for them. So what are the common problems which people are facing nowadays when it comes to cloud environments? It has to do with their cloud security, right? They don't know what risks are there. They don't know how to find out which are the most critical areas, you know? So skills like doing a cloud security posture assessment, like assessing the whole security of their cloud environment. Maybe they have 50 accounts in production or like dev, a UAT and they want to know what's the security status or maybe they have so much infrastructure as code and they, they can't afford those very ex expensive tooling right or they have pipelines but they don't have proper security baked in or they have like security incidents happening but they don't have like a massive team or a SOC team and they want people to come in and automate so this is one of those skills which you need to learn they just like you can't just build a sandbox and they all oh, okay now I know how to put MFA on my account or I know how to like, you know, create a user. Nobody's going to pay you money for that. You need to have a skill, which is like, uh, you know, one of these things. You need to get that. It is like nowadays you don't need fancy tools. There are many, many free tooling which will help you do this automatically. You know, if you've watched my videos, I've talked about many, many times about Prowler. Prowler is a free tool that does an amazing free cloud security posture assessment. I made a mistake. It's not just AWS. It can, I think, scan AWS, Google Cloud also. So please, uh, I'll put all the links below. Check out these tools. You have also have Stratus Vec Team, which actually simulates real world attacks on your environment. The, you have like, if you want to practice, there's Cloud Code, which is a vulnerable by design AWS lab. If you want to scan your infrastructure as code, Chekhov is there. Python code, you have Bandit. All of these tools are completely free. You do not have to pay a penny, but you do know, you, you do need to know how to use them, which is goes back to my steps. Learn a skill that people will pay for. Okay, one of these skills, believe me, people will pay you for that. If you're able to uh, like uh, communicate to them and I'll, I'll get to that. But like I said, download one of these tools, you know, like this is Prowler when it's running and it, like I said, it does an amazing cloud security audit. Uh, this is, I believe, Chekhov. Chekhov, you can integrate within your CICD pipelines to do like reviews. Uh, this is Bandit. Bandit does an amazing review of your Python code. All of these things are available. And I'll show you what it's not just about the technical tools. It's also about how you present the findings. OK, anybody can run the scan and just uh, send an email. You also need to polish up how you're going to be presenting them. But so this is what I wanted to talk about. Learn a skill that people will pay for and then get free tooling to help you. So now you have a sandbox. You know what skill you're going to be running and you have free tools okay now you need to showcase your skill so once okay you've practiced it you know now know how to do a cloud security posture assessment or you know how to run scans to check off and python create a portfolio site or no you can make a github readme you can uh, make your own website it's like honestly i don't care how you do it as long as it's visible you can maybe share your journey on linkedin or medium a lot of people do that you can create video tutorials on youtube if you are confident on the camera hey go right ahead and create like tiktok videos or something like that whatever but you need to show validation it's not just enough to know them you need to don't wait around create some sort of a portfolio website using github using linkedin medium whatever works for you please you need to showcase your skills because this becomes very important in the next step which is now you need to get that cloud security experience. So if you follow those steps, now you're in a good step now. You're in a good shape. You're in a good shape to go and get a cloud security experience on your profile. So now there are two options. One is you can use freelance platforms, you know, like Fiverr and Upwork. The freelancing platforms are there. They don't charge you anything. You can go and create your profile. Flying, you can start searching for clients with small budgets. You can offer cloud security reviews at entry level pricing and you can ask them for your testimonials. OK, I have done that before way back when I started cloud security and I did not have experience. OK, so Fiverr and Upwork, these are the ones I would recommend. Fiverr is cheaper, Fiverr, but Upwork is easier because Upwork allows you to search for these sort of jobs. OK, I would recommend you start with Upwork first and not Fiverr. But whatever is easy for you, honestly speaking. So what you need to do is go and like you're not thinking about making money here, right? Just make it as cheap as possible. Start at $20, $50 to get your first clients. Tell them that uh, you are looking for testimonials only, right? And ask them that you will do cloud security posture assessments. Uh, tell them that you will do cloud security reviews. Even think about doing it for free. And like I said, use tools like Chekhov Prowler to provide simple report and remediation steps. Offer a 10-minute call to explain your findings. What people do is they just email it across, okay? And then they forget about it. No, 
you will email them tell them hey i'm happy to set up a call i'll show you what free tools are available for this and to explain your findings and once you've done this ask for a review if this helped i would really appreciate a quick review it helps me grow as a cloud security consultant and use screenshots of five star reviews as visual proof on your linkedin website or cv please you need to get testimonials otherwise there's no point in doing this right nobody will know that you were able to get this done so this is why i would recommend first starting out on this to get like a little bit more confidence in your ability to do these sort of things so for one is using freelance platforms like fiverr and upwork they do most of the hard work for you because people are already using these platforms the, the second is now uh, doing a little bit more hard work which is pitching to small and medium businesses on linkedin so you won't believe that linkedin is not just for you know applying for jobs it is not just for posting about which certification you did it can be also be a great place to find people like find businesses who will give you jobs so thousands and thousands of small businesses are running in secure cloud setups right because they are small businesses they don't have the budgets they just buy a, like a simple setup from azure or aws but they don't know how to secure it and they cannot afford a full-time cloud security engineer this is your opportunity so what you want to do is you want to search for companies on LinkedIn, you know, company size, which is small, industrious SaaS or startups, because these are the companies who are moving very, very fast. They don't have time to hire cloud security consultants and do like three months, six month projects. These are the people who are doing very, very fast. Look for companies mentioning AWS as a cloud native in their descriptions that will help you find the small companies find the right person which is a target you know don't send to the hr people hr people won't know anything find some guy like the cto or the co-founder the head of engineering devops manager who are active on linkedin if they have not posted on linkedin for the past six years there's no point in reaching out to them right they won't get your message so these are the filters searching for companies first find the companies and then find the right person who, are, who is active on LinkedIn, who has actual technical knowledge, and then send them this message. Okay, look, I'm building my portfolio. This is a sample message you can use yourself. You can like build your own custom one. But I'm building my portfolio in cloud security. I'd like to offer a free cloud security review of your environment. No strings attached. I've helped other startups identify misconfigurations. This is where you will use your Fiverr and Upwork thing. All I'd ask in return is the testimonial. Uh, if you find it valuable, would you be open to that? which is and then you can put your name this is a very very simple technique but believe me it, it is very very effective also i it like always blows my mind how many like people don't know how to do this um, so like i said deliver a mini assessment you can do like a non-invasive review focus on quick wins and then give them a pdf report ask for a testimony same like you did before and why this works so which this will work because you will get first of all testimonials on your profile right it will give you that credibility without you having a full-time job freelance reviews plus linkedin testimony it is social proof and you will build actual client experience you will get that confidence you will see how the real world works how people are how they interact with you which who people will push back which people will accept what you do and future employers will also see that as a you taking initiative you didn't wait around you actually went out and got that experience which tools can you use there are many many tools you can use canva for reporting or notion or google docs whichever it's all of them are free you can use chat gpt no i don't mean chat gpt to like uh create the report that's not right but help it summarize findings or write messages please use it for that calendly is another it gives you a free plan where you can schedule your calls you can link it with uh, google meets or zoom and loom if you're not familiar with loom loom allows you to share your screen and record a three to five minute video walkthrough and then you can share that link it makes you look very very professional unlike people who are just sending text messages or sending you know like a downloaded pdf report without anything use all of these things this will help you look very very professional so this is what i wanted to talk about guys follow these steps believe me uh, it will really showcase and set you apart like i said creating a cloud sandbox uh, getting like learning a skill that people will pay you for getting free tooling like prowler like check off and all of them showcasing your skills creating a portfolio and then using the first option which is uh, freelancing platforms like fiverr upwork or and then the second one which is again very very crucial but it has it, it's harder than getting on a freelancing platform but it's much more effective which is pitching to small and medium businesses on linkedin using these filters which i'm talking about and then doing these sort of reviews sharing these reports using professional tools like canva notion google doc chat gpt you know uh calendly all of these things they will help you out so i hope this was useful to you and you saw the value that is there 
in these sort of things. One last thing I would tell you that I've also launched like a simple SaaS application to help you like analyze your own cybersecurity CV. I'm getting hundreds of messages on LinkedIn for people who want to know about their cybersecurity CVs and you simply don't get the time to review all of them. So the, I'll put the link below also and it'll be there in the video description. Check this out, it's completely free. You don't have to pay me anything, but it'll help you analyze your CV also. This is just like a MVP I'm making. I'm going to keep on improving this SaaS, but please do check this out. Look at the feedback which comes and let me know if you want me to improve this or not. Okay, that wraps up today's video. I hope you got some value with this. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.